we have started to get somebody to put in some new stairs for us. So as you can see here, we have some posts that are in the ground and they're all setting. These posts um, are going to be for the stairs. You can see how big the stairs are going to be. Um, they're going to take up that whole section there and then you just walk down into our lovely garden, which is a little bit overgrown right now. <laughs> but um, it will be lovely. Uh, so, and then we're going to block off the stairs off to the side. Um, and I'm not sure if you can see those from here, but they are just there. Uh, so we're going to block those off. At the moment, as you can see, we pick up every little bit of stone and stuff that goes into the house. So we want to get rid of that. Um, and we will replace this gate here with, um, the side gate, which is here. So that'll move to a new position and um, that will go over there. And then um, we'll probably remove the fence here and move it up to the top over there. I've been working a little bit on removing the internal bits and pieces that cross over with this quince as well. And Brandon started it and I've done a little bit and we've still got more to do clearly with all the stuff at the back there. But uh, slowly going to clean up this area and we're clearing up this area here as well. So Andrew came and got our, um, the trunks of the cherry wood um, and left us with the bases here which we can burn off in the fire which is pretty cool. Um, but here we're going to put in the clothesline which it's fairly level, so we'll probably just tidy this up a little bit and um, put more of a fence structure along here to block all of that off and a gate here. So then the dog run is actually much larger, which will be nice. And slowly but surely, we will get this all tidied up before spring hits. Are you happy with the stay, yes? Oh, yeah. Thrilled. thrilled. It's going to come together. Awesome. So right now, uh, we have to remove the dog boards, which are the baseboards to the stairs, behind the stairs here. Um, so all of this needs to go so that uh, structurally things can be connected and um, get that out of the way and then we're going to uh, reboard through here on the outside so you get access to all of these things that need access but we will now pull things apart which is usually the best bit pulling shit apart it's a bit cold this morning with a little bit of ice on the windscreen I got home in the evening um, yesterday, so we weren't able to show you the progress on the steps. So here we go. I'm going to turn this around and reveal so far what's been going on in the backyard. Make sure I don't fall over at the same time. Ta-da! So we have a really decent set of steps going up and so today, these will probably be finished in regards to being able to step up onto them and use them because all of this is going to be removed. Um, and we're going to use that to block off the other side, as I've mentioned before. So these, are, this will all be pulled away and um, these will be finished. So the rails will be on it and... All we need to do then is paint it up, which will be the exciting part. Uh, we have to decide what colour we're going to paint them, of course. I think we're going to go for white. Um, we also need to decide on how we're going to block off everything um, for access underneath to stop Sprocket from getting underneath, but also to kind of conceal everything that's under there. Because it's pretty ugly. And we've got a really good frost this morning. It was um, minus one overnight. It's just a wee bit chilly. 
so I'll probably mow the lawn at some stage. Um, but everything else is kind of surviving, which is good. And our parsley is doing extremely well. <gasps> Your toy's frozen. Oh, and look at this. Beautiful bit of frost on this. Sparkly. And we tidied all of the branches up, so now I've just got to come through and tidy all of these trees up and um, we're going to burn off some of that wood eventually. And we were thinking with this little alcove area of making it into an outdoor tub area where we can decorate this and do a block off at that end um, and then have a little outdoor spa area which will be lovely but all in good time it's helmet time so I'm going to use this scrap MDF I've already cut this is going to be the face board that's going to get covered these are going to be the little side bits so I just need this for the top which is good because it's got a little bit of meat in the sandwich so it'll be good and I'll put it all together your first time seeing the stairs. <gasps> Woo! Awesome. Oh my really god. Good. So thrilled. Wow. <laughs> oh, they look so good. They look good, don't they? So there's something else. It's actually quite straightforward to put together. Yeah, no, it looks really good. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I thought a finished room for Sunday would be good. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's brilliant. We just went to the dump shop, didn't we? Yes. Oh yeah. And look what we found. Da -da -da. This, which is cast iron. Um, it's in two pieces, so there's a base piece and then this top piece here that sits on top, clearly. Um, we got it for 50 bucks. Um, so we're going to probably put it in there, clean up that area. It's now time to mow and get everything ready because we've got some people coming over. But we were going for a gate and we ended up coming home with that. So, bonus. I wanted to show you all the gate repair. So this is our driveway gate and the post was originally here. So you can see there's a big difference there. Um, I've got to get some more concrete and put it into there and then paint the post. And we've got the replacement panels for here as well. So have to do that and then repaint. Um, but yes, we now have a gate that is wide enough to be able to drive in the driveway and not take out the mirrors as we have done a couple of times. Thank you. 